Hey guys, this is LegoBoy13 here, and I am showing you my new um, Droid Army for the end of 2013. Uh, this for this Droid Army, we have grown a significant amount, um, and I feel that I should. I'm just going to show you guys all of it. Uh, and by Droid Army, I just mean anything Droid. I mean Trade Federation. Um, and pretty much anything in the corporate alliance, the CIS, all that stuff. Um, uh, so pretty much the droid army does not include, even though it includes Geonosian droids and things like that, it does not include things that were used for by just Geonosians. Like, I don't have my Geonosian troopers in here, as you can see. I don't have vehicles for Geonosians, I don't have my cannon or my starfighter or for trade federation I don't have any of the, I don't have any of the guys well except for new gunnery just because um, I needed someone to put in front because I had nobody else and you know it was an option so whatever uh, anyways let's just go in to the droids uh, so this year we have a total right here I did not well, I did not count these yet uh, so I was not prepared at all for this video, but whatever. So, up here are these ma the main Trade Federation battle droids. We have one commander droid, surrounded by three security droids, and then two of the droid pilots. And then right behind them, we have, let's see, next. Times five. So we have 29 regular battle droids right behind them. That's 29, so one less than 30. So that is that is a lot of regular battle droids. Um, so I think we did really good on that. Um, that's how many more than we had last year? Let me think. I think that's about... Um, 10, no, about 12 or 13 more than we had last year of regular battle droids. Not to mention all of these ones. Um, so anyways, yeah, over here we have just um, CIS and Geonosis slash other things like that. Um, so we have up here in the front, we have one. Uh, we have one rocket pack droid commander and eight regular rocket pack droids. Uh, they don't have the rocket packs on right now because I sort of lost them all. Um, I lost like half of them and then the rest of them I had to scrap together to make things because that's what we do here. And directly behind them we have five super battle droids. One of them is the super battle droid Dark Ray with a with the rocket blaster and then right next to him on his left and right we have the more me the me uh, the metallic gray the metallic gray super battle droids on either side of him and then way on the ends of each side we have the newer dark gray super battle droids um, so that's a great thing I never thought I'd have so many super battle droids um, so I mean it's not anything compared to the thousands that um, and everything but anyways behind him we have our commando droids there's the commando droid captain or commander and then we have six regular commando droids um, behind him and next to him so there's a nice little assortment that's a lot of commando droids right there and then um, a couple other droids I could not I could not fit these two droids on the base plates anywhere. Uh, this is just a Geonosian a Geonosis class regular battle droid and a Geonosis class um, regular commando commander battle droid, um, which you will notice they just recycled the torso and the head for this battle droid from the commander droid from the rocket pack troopers. Uh, so I thought that was a little bit lazy of them. Uh, I would have, because I would have liked a more pinkish color, because that's what they're supposed to be. 
<sighs> but, you know, anything that cuts production time. So, anyways, that's it for the main droids. Um, before I go into the vehicles, I want to show you um, the rest. here. Over here, we have all of my super, I mean, uh, de droidicas, or destroyer droids. Um, in the front, we have my custom droidica, which is based off of the 2002 model, except it's off-color. Um, so it looks like the one that you'd see in the video game. It's this. It's based off of the model that comes with the that came with the Republic gunship in the 2002 set. And behind him, we have four of the new droidicas. One of them has two of his arms missing. Um, I don't know. They fell either into that box there or that box underneath of it or this right here. I don't know where they went, so I'm gonna have to make him new ones. Uh, and then in the middle we have the new sniper droid uh, that comes with the set. It's the um, the ATRT Walker with the 501st Legion. And then right over here we have a dwarf, the new version of the dwarf spider droid. So all this dwarf spider droid and all of these droidicas back here are brand new in the in the uh, in our army this year so that's pretty cool um, right to the sides I want to make this video less than eight minutes long so let's hurry up we have the older but not too old um, set the uh, the corporate alliance tank droid it's not the brand new one but it's the last one that they came out with so that was from 2011, I believe, or was it 2012? I don't know. Give, leave a comment down below or something, guys. Help me out. And then we have the Geonosin Cannon, which, in my opinion, was one of the best sets that they came out with for the Battle of Geonosis in that same year. Um, it is a great set. Yeah, so one Geonosin Cannon. Got one of these. I don't really get doubles of things um, to improve my droid army because, you know, things are expensive, except for battle packs, because battle packs are a great way to get um, tons of droids slash clone troopers. Unfortunately, I never got a hold, I have never been able to get a hold of the older battle packs. The one, you know what I'm talking about, the, the droid carrier that came with the three super battle droids and the three regular battle droids and the staff. No, the four regular battle droids, and also the um, the clone trooper battle pack with the, with the phase two clone troopers from episode three. Um, I was never able to get those, but let's just keep going because I I missed our goal for today, and now I'm sad. So now you guys can poke me in the comments, unfortunately. So go ahead. Anyways, we have the new spider droid. Um, which is also a great set, and um, it gives the it gives my droid army um, a large advantage. Well, yeah, a large advantage over the Republic army. If I can get it to stand still. Um, yeah, that's great. And then over here, I have just a couple assortment of things. I already showed you the dwarf spider droid. I have a custom staff that I made. I based it off of the model, the one that came with um, Mace Windu Starfighter, I believe. I don't remember, um, but that's what I based it off of. And then the, and then this one, which I wish I would have gotten two of, the Naboo um, Droid Carrier it came with eight battle droids. It is great set. Uh, you know, you see them on ep in episode one during the Battle of Naboo, where um, where the droid when you're they're on first on the planet and the droid is talking to New Gunray and he's saying um, if they're downhill we'll find them. You can see in the background what, a couple of these going by, and then over here we have my custom Octopataro droid, um, which is personally one of my favorite custom vehicles I have ever made. Uh, it has nice detail on it and everything, so I really enjoy that. And then last of all of them, 
We have the Hyena Bomber droid the vehicle. I should have this up. There we go. Um, and yeah, that's my only spaceship that really that I have for the my droid army. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. This is my droid army of 2013. Um, I hope you guys like it and expect to see all of these sets in the nearby videos. So thanks for watching. This is LegoBoy13 signing off.